Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Rock and Roundtable. My name is Shay. My name is Matthias. Today's reaction is uh, Tommy J, Tommy Johansson for Tommy Tuesday. The song we're going to react to today is Murder in the Skies, originally by Gary Moore from the album Victims of the Future. Oh, from, uh, I never heard of this one. Oh, I remember I had this album, such a great album, tons of great songs on this one. So I'm excited to, you know, take a look at this one yeah. with our Swedish, incredibly talented friend, Tommy J. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will give our reaction, our review, and our rating. Ready? I'm ready. Let's roll.
sounds just like that. <laughs> Identical. <laughs> wow. Well, I didn't know there was a guest vocalist. Who, I, I who is that? That's Chris. Uh, Chris Davidson, or Chris Davids, I think his stage name is, who is the bass player for Majestica. I thought he looked familiar. Also, he's like the spitting, Im- sp- spitting image of... This is going <laughs> to age me, amongst other things. Um, he looks like Barry Gibb from the Bee Gees. I think because really? he's, he's got those teeth. With, well, he's got he's, teeth. He, yeah, he's got, <laughs> but Barry, all the Bee Gees were known for the, and back in the 70s when people, when teeth weren't important, the Bee Gees had big, beautiful, perfect white teeth. Okay. And um, um, now everybody else is wanting to have them. But um, anyway, <laughs> but he has these and then, of course, the beard and, and the hair. I mean, yeah, I mean, he just yeah. looks, he looks like him. Yeah, he, well, yeah, he looks cool. Well, Barry yeah. Gibbon is prime. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. And he sings really, really good, too. He, he sings better than yeah. Barry probably. <laughs> but, um, wow, their voices sound so, like, perfect together. Together, yeah. Mm-hmm. I noticed that, yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, and this song, I mean, I, lo- I love mm. the original when it came out. I think it was 1983, if I remember correctly. And the song is based on... A true event um, that a, a plane on its way to South, South Korea apparently was shot down by like a terrorist attack. Oh, I, I'm not, I, I didn't know it was Russians, mm-hmm. but yeah, that was it. Russians? Or you just? I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, they they sang that the oh. Russians have shot down oh. a plane on its way to Korea. Okay. Wow. Um, but I'll have to look look that up. I'll look yeah, that up. It, it's it's a it it happened, and that was the. The lyrics were based on that uh, attack. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. And uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> like I said, I love the original, but also this, the arrangement they have done to modernize it, because this could have been a brand new song. It, it didn't sound like the 80s, right? No. 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 Yeah. The I modern mean, arrangement. And he always does that on every single song. He is a master at that. That's oh, why yeah. I really, I mean, he is so multi-talented you know, besides the obvious, but I think behind the scenes, how vo- uh, well vocal arrangements, song arrangements, stylizing. I mean, he always keeps the melody, but yep. he, but it's it's a hard thing to do to bring a classic song that's almost thir- was like thirty years old or forty years 40 old. Forty years old, yeah, For, almost forty <laughs> years old. Anyway, <laughs> um, over forty years. Yeah, old. over yeah. forty years old. Yeah. To um, make it sound like modern, yeah, kind, you know what I mean. It, but it still has the same elements. Yep, yeah. that that is that's creative, and you're an artist, true artist. If you can do that, keep keep the way you said it. You know, keep the original, but still make it new. Yes, yes. Yeah. It doesn't have to be changed all around and put some hip hop. You know, raps in it and stuff. Yeah, please don't. Yeah, please just don't. <laughs> yeah, no, this was really cool. And what I was I was listening to everything, right? We, we talked about the vocals, perfect vocals. Both of yes. them oh, are yeah. absolutely yeah. amazing. Both could be you know, front men for any band, mm-hmm. really, because they're so good. And also the way they play. Uh, and I was thinking about Chris here, his, his bass playing. He's, he's so good. He is. And, well, I said that he's part of Majestica, so he's, yeah, he's yeah. one of these guys. Is but he, he in another band? Yeah, so he's the touring bass player for the band Therion, also a Swedish band. Oh, I know of them, Sym- yes. Symphonic metal. Yes, and, yes. Uh, so apparently I, I just read that the other day and that he's, he's the touring uh, bass player for them as well. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm incredibly impressed and... Majestica now, I, I assume we're going to hear more from them as a band now when um, Tommy has left Sabaton. I would think so. Yeah, yeah. so that's going to be exciting because mm. uh, I want to see them. I mean, well, I, they're, didn't, they just announced they're going to be on somewhere. Are they going to oh, be on the boat? Oh, 70,000 tons of metal yeah, crews. which we, we're probably not going to do that this year or next year. Uh, well, but, we haven't decided yet, but um, we may skip next year 2025 and then uh, head to sweden rock festival in the summer instead yeah even though i I hope the lineup is as good as this one this year oh yeah yeah Uh, this year's lineup at sweden rock (laughs) festival is i know i'm like wow and i think because 
all the festivals this year is going to have really, really good bands and a good mix of them, like Hellfest, Wacken, Copenhagen. Oh, there's so many festivals in Europe in the summer. Think about staying three months in, in Europe for the summer and just catch all these festivals. That would be, that's a bucket list thing to do, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Expensive, but yeah. You only live once. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this song was absolutely amazing. And I, if you haven't heard Gary Moore before, I'm sure you have. Uh, if you listen and check out this channel, I'm sure you are familiar with Gary Moore. But he he was a guitar player for Thin Lizzy, and then he had his solo career. And then he passed away when he was 52 years old, I think. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, I read a little bit about that, but yeah. wow, okay. But he has inspired so many guitar players around the world. So was he in Thin Lizzy first? And then he went so solo or vice versa? Uh, well, first he was in a band called, uh, I can't remember the name of the band, but he had his own band first in Ireland. He's from Ireland. Mm -hmm. And then he joined Thin Lizzy. Did, um, I remember Black Rose specifically, that album. And then I think he went on his solo, to do his solo career. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he started with this type of, yeah, like hard rock, heavy metal type of music. Then he leaned more into blues. There's a song, a song called Still Got the Blues that you probably have heard a million times. Uh, really, you know, well-known guitar riff or melody. <laughs> My mind is just going to Elton John, though. Okay. And that's uh, why I call it blues. <laughs> is that what it sounds like? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's in, um, I'm going to play it for you. Thing. Yeah. So. Anyway, so um, well, every now and then you'll 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 throw a track at me from, uh, <laughs> from Gary Moore, and it's like the melodies are so amazing, and they are they are like timeless. Yes. And he, I think he's so underrated. Not enough people, at least I think, not enough people give him the credit he deserves. I or deserved or I, whatever. Yeah, I mean that's a good point. Mm -hmm. I I don't think he's underrated, but maybe underrated for non-musicians because guitar players always say right. you know like Kirk Hammett for example, he he loves Gary Moore. But just songwriting too. I mean he's oh, yeah. I think a lot of people are inspired by his songwriting and his style and they don't give him the credit for yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I, I think I think you may be right that it's underrated uh, among the 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 normal fan base of of rock and metal. Mm -hmm. I, that I'm I need to think about this, but it may it may be so. But yeah, yeah. Mm. but among guitar players, everybody has him as top five ever. Okay, interesting. I'm exaggerating. Top but, ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But he's up there, very, very popular <laughs> guitar player uh, among Tony Omi, Jimi Hendrix, Michael Schenker, those guys. So anyway. Um, rating. Yeah, rating. Uh, I was just thinking about that. It, it's always hard, again, to rate a cover because I love the original so, so much. And like we mentioned, the arrangement that they have done with this one is pure magic. I love it so much. I want to give this one nine Marshall sacks out of ten. <laughs> You're always taking my rating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it uh, because of the um, in inclusion of um, what's his name, the Chris. Chris. Yeah. And not to say not to say that Tommy couldn't do it on his own, but ha having a featured artist with another featured vocalist and musician with him is just always fun. Mm -hmm. So I'm also going to give it nine Marshall Sacks out of ten. Perfect. So that wraps up this video. It sure does. Yeah. For Murder in the Skies by Tommy J and Chris... Davids. Davidson. Davidson or Davis? I think Chris Davids. Let me check that quickly. I, now I'm curious. Uh, yeah, Chris Davidson here. Yeah, Chris David official. Let's Chris, <clears throat> Chris Davidson. Chris, mm -hmm. Chris Davidson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys. We really love this one. Cheers. And if you like our content, hit like, subscribe, comment below, hit that notification bell, 
and uh, share this video with your friends and your family and your enemies. Yes, <laughs> them too. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side.